We're at the NAMM Show 2015 on the Avid booth, and this is Tony, who's going to show us uh, the new version of Pro Tools, Pro Tools 12 and Pro Tools First, which is the first free version it's, of Pro Tools for some time. It is a free version. It's, uh, for those of you that have been in this industry a little while, you'll know that Pro, there was a version of Pro Tools, was, yeah. I don't know, 15 or so years ago that was actually called Pro Tools Free. But anyway, that's, that's what we're, we're here to talk about today. Uh, so yeah, we're, um, we had some really huge announcements the other day. Um, first of all, we're here showing Pro Tools First, which is, like I just said, a completely free version of Pro Tools software. Um, so it's a really exciting way for people who are just getting into you know, music creation or you know, want to dabble and kind of get their ideas down. Or folks who are even maybe using another DAW and they want to get their feet wet into Pro Tools, mm -hmm. um, just to get started using you know, the same tools that's used in the industry standard digital audio workstation and facilities all over the world, like you know, established professionals all over the world. So really, really exciting. Um, that is uh, going to be available for download later on this quarter. Mm -hmm. And um, in addition to that, we announced Pro Tools 12. And the really exciting thing about Pro Tools 12, it completely, it marks a fundamental change in how we're going to be delivering software to customers and how customers are going to receive updates and stay current. So Pro Tools, uh, with Pro Tools 12, it's going to be available, you know, traditionally in the way we offer soft, we've offered software before where you can buy outright, like yeah, a traditional sure. perpetual license. Um, but in addition to that, we're now offering subscriptions. So you can subscribe to Pro Tools for, you know, as little as twenty nine ninety five or twenty nine ninety nine, sorry, a month, or if you want to commit to a year, it's two hundred ninety nine dollars a year, which works out to be less than twenty five bucks a month. Um, so really easy to get into, uh, you know, the standard version of Pro Tools software at a lower price than ever before. Um, and in addition, um, for the for the folks who are in a perpetual license who have bought in because they made that investment up front. Yeah. Their, their um, kind of maintenance fees to stay current on the software is less expensive than ever. So at $199, they're paying, you know, what amounts to like $16 a month to always have the latest version of software and to have a greater level of technical support, customer service than ever before. Um, and the other really exciting, exciting thing about Pro Tools 12, in addition to like the really flexible licensing that we're offering, is the fact that this now has the, the underpinnings, the technology needed to support Avid Cloud Collaboration the Avid Marketplace, the App Store, which is kind of an in-app purchasing mm -hmm. environment, um, and also an integrated experience for the artist community, which is a community of, you know, creative, creatives, uh, whether they're uh, artists or editors or uh, mixing engineers or what have you, to all kind of connect on this, be able to uh, uh, uncover opportunities, potentially monetize their their songs, their work, um, mm -hmm. and just you know overall have a blast doing it. So look, just talking about the uh, the Pro Tools first software then, so what how many what are the what's the track count? What's what are the limitations of it? Yeah. So yeah it's a little, it's obviously feature restricted because mm. it's a free version. Uh, so this comes with uh, it supports sixteen audio tracks, sixteen MIDI tracks, sixteen instrument tracks, sixteen auxiliary tracks. Um, in addition to that, uh, supports up to four IO. Um, it has, you know, a lot of, it basically has everything that Pro Tools does, including elastic audio, elastic pitch. Um, it doesn't have the score editor in it. Okay. It doesn't have support for video tracks. Fine, yeah. And uh, it doesn't have beat detective. Okay. But besides that, it's, it really has everything else. The other limitation is that you're limited to using a maximum of three projects for, for free. Right. So uh, and these, these projects are cloud-based projects. So. Uh, you start something here. You're working on it. You uh, don't necessarily ha you don't have to worry about having the right USB jump drive or, or you know, so a gets drive. To the cloud and then Anytime you, can you open log it. in, it's right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can have up to three of those cloud projects, uh, and uh, you know we're considering maybe in the future to provide more uh, for a nominal fee if people want to do it that way. But again, it's it's so easy now to get onto the the, 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 the you know standard version of Pro Tools software that uh, we're going to kind of wait and see how that works out. So what about the collaboration tools within Pro Tools 12 then? What's, what are those about? Well, so today when people collaborate, most of the time they're using push-pull kind of maybe cloud storage or they're sending 
uh, links via email to a you know Dropbox using you know Google Drive or, or what, whatever. Um, and obviously, anybody that's done that you know knows that you send something to somebody and. If, two people start working on a same project then mm -hmm. really quickly the versioning gets out of control it's hard to figure out yeah. especially if somebody else is not just adding a track but maybe they want to like do a little edit a change to the mix mm -hmm. maybe do some editing to the playlist maybe do a new comp on the vocal maybe tweak a plug-in you know but you know there's a lot of things you can you can change when you're talking about a Pro Tools oh, yeah. project yeah. so you start doing that it becomes really difficult to figure out what changed you know maybe you don't want to give permission to to somebody you're working with to change everything. You just want to limit them to just messing with this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then just think about the complexity. If you have more than one person you're collaborating with, uh, a small film, a large film, a record, a song. I mean, you could have, even for a simple song, you could have, you know, you could have half a dozen people working on it easily. Well, what's fantastic about this is the workflows are totally built within the software. So think about is that the main project would live kind of in a cloud. So if you and I are collaborating, I say, mm -hmm. or I have a, I have this awesome riff, and I'm like, right, yeah. Will's the man. Will's gonna lay down the coolest guitar riff or whatever on this. A funky um, bass line, probably. Yeah, or ba yeah. bass line. Yeah. So I, I send a little invite to you. Mm -hmm. I connect with you on the Avid artist community because I find you. I can see, oh, Will works for Sound on Sound. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, and he's a bass player, and I can hear his work up there because maybe you have a little example of your work up there. And I go, cool, he's the guy. And I say, hey, do you want to do you want to do something on this? And you say, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you start, um, you know, you start, you 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 download, you basically accept the the project invite. Comes down to your local drive. You start adding changes. If we happen to be online at the same time, I can see you're on there, and I can see that you're doing changes. If you, if you change it, uh, do a change to a track, uh, there'll be an indicator. You won't see it here, but there'll be an indicator that something changed, and it'll let me either accept the change or maybe import it as completely new track. So it basically it's a totally integrated experience. So anything you you do on your side is reflected on my side, and I have a lot of control whether I want to accept that wholeheartedly or not. So and does that, that happen live, or is that um, you have to sort of accept each one of the changes? How does it? it is every time um, you save it, you can or? have it. You can set it up so it accepts the changes automatically. That might be a little dangerous. You'd have to really trust the person to yeah, do that. Yeah, sure, yeah. But um, but you could have that happen automatically. It's not uh, when you say real time. It's uh, if you're recording something, I'm not going to see it till you're done. It's going to have to go upload yeah. and download. Sure. That being said, there are tools that will let us um, kind of engage and communicate so there'd be there's a built-in um, video chat built-in text chat mm -hmm. so if you wanted to leave that open I could kind of hear what you're doing in real time and give you some creative direction okay um, so but also, the fantastic part is if you're in London right mm -hmm. or you're somewhere in the UK Cambridge yeah okay so you're in Cambridge what if I'm in California mm -hmm. with the time difference we can't really work necessarily at the same time mm -hmm. what's great is the stuff's up there. I wake up in the morning, your changes are done. I could see everything you did, mm -hmm. and it's documented right, okay. with your name. And if you have a union number or an ASCAP number or a BMI or a CCAM or whatever it is, that stuff's in there. So if, you, if this song happens to be sold to use on a you know a commercial or something, mm -hmm. you, we, then, it'd be really easy to give you the proper credit and make sure yep. that uh, you get paid. Excellent. So then are there any other sort of changes for plugins and sort of the... Uh, Less back end, more sort of snazzy, twinkly, fun bits that we can um, yeah, that we there, get in uh, Pro Tools 12. Yeah, there's um, so with Pro Tools first uh, and Pro Tools 12, we released about 17 plugins that came from the 11 rack. So there's right. a whole bunch of stomp boxes, yeah. and those are going to be available off for, for Pro Tools first as kind of an in-app purchase. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know what the pricing is on that? It's not totally firmed up, but it's very, very affordable. Like, you know, like a nice cappuccino kind of pricing. Okay. Like very, very affordable mm. in-app purchasing, mm. especially for the Pro Tools first. Right. Uh, yeah. Plugins. So uh, that all looks cool, Tony. Uh, I thank you very much for having us down to the booth. Thanks so much for coming by. And if you want more information on Pro Tools first, go to avid.com forward slash pt first. Uh, it's going to be ready for download later this quarter, and. Um, you know, we're looking forward to uh, see you guys online. Yeah, well, I look forward to trying it. Thanks, Will. Cheers. Cheers.